In a lifestyle where sun and sand number among the fundamental joys of existence, where the rich and famous migrate from the cold of the north, there's one deluxe hangout quite unlike any other. It's a place where elegance, luxury and relaxation are all part of a way of life. This is the world of Turnberry Isle, a 200-acre island on South Florida's intercoastal waterway where man has conquered the environment and made it so complete it's almost a world of its own. No way did this condo community turn out so perfect by luck. It was a dream in the mind of a multi-millionaire. Don Sofa, the man who stays in control at work and play, envisioned an ultimate lifestyle, built it, called it home. The supreme testimonial, as far as I can see, is when the developer lives in his own project. You know, he's willing to subject himself to, to the constant day-to-day -day criticism. You know, people move in the apartment, everything's fine, everything's new. Somebody's refrigerator, you know, burns out three years later, and then all of a sudden, you know, they didn't make such a good deal. So. You kind of like have to put up with, you know, the minor complaints and the nuisance complaints. I enjoy it. I enjoy the people here. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy the celebrities that come in. I enjoy being, you know, being here and, and having a good time because all the things that are here, I fashion it after the kind of lifestyle that I would like. So when Don, the man of vision, bought this piece of steaming swampland in 1968, somehow he knew even then he had found something special. The idea came about when we first bought it, and uh, being in this area, it seemed like it was a real find because it was just a tremendous 800 acres of land. You know, it's a tremendous piece of property right in the middle of the old Miami, Fort Lauderdale area, and it seemed like a piece of property that nobody, you know, nobody knew about. And when we bought it, I could see with the amount of land we had, we could really create a complete city here. And a complete city he built. Condominiums with prices ranging up to a million seven, two 18-hole championship golf courses, plenty of tennis for everyone, a complete health club to while away the afternoons at racquetball, a Nautilus center, an aerobics room, a beauty salon, and even a huge mall housing the first Macy's in the South. Has he missed anything? We don't have skiing, we don't have any mountains. With the advent of the, the Ocean Club, we have the beach down the ocean. We've done that kind of like the, the cabana clubs and places you see in San Tropez or the Mediterranean. A lot of people take their boats, both large and small. Now his Sunshine State community is complete. Sofa plans to put the finishing touches on his own personal palace. I have a very slow decorator, as everybody else does. You know, the apartment took about three and a half to four years to put put together and it's still not put together there are things that that have to be done and um, you know it just seems like the minute you finish finish something that the things that were put in first now they need redoing so I'm, I'm redoing my bedroom so to speak you know it's, it's it was well planned it's a well conceived and it's something I really enjoy I'm still collecting art I'm still buying art because the apartment is made for, for the art it's got clean walls it says uh, it's very simple, it's very, you know, the lines are very sleek and it's so as not to compete with, you know, with the art that is hung there. This no expense spared luxury home isn't Sofa's only indulgence. Well, I love my boat. I love my 83 foot boat. I enjoy fishing. I enjoy diving. I have tanks and scuba and all that on board. Um, that's a real relaxation for me. You know, and I enjoy the scarab. I mean, it's just, it's just a lot of different things. I'm not, I'm not the type of person that, that overindulges in one thing. But Sofa says the material possessions are only a means to an end. The end being his personal happiness, surrounded by friends who all want to kick back and relax in that city that Don built. The kind of person that likes to be around people, enjoys having fun and, you know, and having a good time and, Whatever, whatever your tastes are, it's a great place. Don Sofa, the man who turned Swampland into his own Shangri-La.